Hello and welcome back beloved. In today's video we're going to be talking about our transition to using cloth napkins here in the country. Hold on. I'm sure that most of us remember what things were like at the beginning of this COVID-19 pandemic. I've tried not to make it a major focal point in my videos, but the fact of the matter is that COVID-19 has changed many things for us. And at the beginning of the pandemic, paper towels and toilet paper were in shortage. But paper napkins were also in short supply. And so as a result of that, we made a decision to transition to cloth napkins for everyday use. Now, before moving to the country, we used cloth napkins before at our tables, but that was largely reserved for special occasions. Birthdays, Thanksgiving, definitely, maybe New Year's, Sometimes at Christmas when we had a really special gathering for Christmas. Now we're transitioning into using them every day as a result of the pandemic. So it was something that was a product of necessity and not just uh, a great idea that we had. I had been thinking about it before the pandemic, but it wasn't urgent. So I didn't press the issue. I just remember the day that we finally made the decision to do it. I had actually been researching cloth napkin patterns and I was considering making some just for special occasions, not for everyday use. But when we went to, it was Walmart that we were in and we could not find any paper napkins. I remember I was so frustrated. I looked at my mom and I said, what do you think if we just transition to cloth napkins for every day? And she actually said, you know, I was thinking the same thing. It was a done deal. So we headed over to another aisle in the store. And in this aisle, that's where you find like your pot holders and oven mitts. They also have kitchen towels and they did have some cloth napkins for sale, but we didn't buy those. My mom and I both know how to sew and in this instance, we did some calculations as to the cost of cloth napkins, which I know is one major concern that folks have in making a transition like this. Cloth napkins can be very expensive. If you buy high-end material, if you have mitered corners and fancy accents on them, they can be expensive because it's more work to do those things. But we just wanted something simple that we could use every day. And so we found something to use that maybe some of you might also think is a good idea to use for your family. These, I'm gonna do a close up so you can um, see them, but these are flower sack towels. So this is the package that we got. There are 10 flower sack towels in this package and we paid about $7.88 for this, plus tax. They're used for a variety of things and a nice lightweight 100% cotton. And they are way too big for one person's face. So each towel is 28 inches by 29 inches. So they're not exactly square. And if I open one up, on camera. This is huge. Ooh, trying to get all four corners in there. Too much fabric for one napkin. So what we ended up doing was splitting this particular towel into four pieces. 
and we tried to make them roughly even. It's difficult because the piece is not exactly square. So making four exact squares is not going to happen. They're going to be a little bit more like rectangular. And once we had them split, there were two raw edges on each of the four napkins. So we sewed up those raw edges using a simple small rolled hem on each side. This is not a sewing video, but if you are interested in me doing a sewing video to demonstrate how to make the napkins that we have here, then please post that in the comments box below. I wanna make sure that I'm posting content that's helpful to you all. If you know how to sew, then you know that that doesn't take very long at all. Each napkin took less than five minutes to make. What did add up was that um, there are 10 towels in the pack that we purchased. There was a smaller pack. I'm not exactly sure how many towels were in the smaller pack, uh, but in the larger pack of 10, that meant that I had 40 napkins to sew, which means 80 rolled hems to complete. So just the sheer number of hems that needed to be sewn is what added up the time. It took me, I wanna say two or three days to do it just because I had other things to do besides sew and I would just squeeze it in. Whenever I had a moment, I would go ahead and sew, 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 sew. Once they were all finished, we threw them in the wash and did a quick press. Because of the sheer number that we made, we made 40 and there's only three of us in the house on a regular basis. So that's six napkins per day. And with 40 napkins rolling around, that means that if I wanted to wait six whole days before I dealt with laundering them, I could do that. I separate the napkins so that I'm not washing anything else with them, put them in the wash with a little bleach to make sure that they get sanitized and very clean. They don't take very long to dry because these flower sack towels are very thin. Um, they're 100% cotton, so, um, they're nice and soft on the face. They are hypoallergenic and just really a nice natural fiber. So once they come out of the dryer, then all that's left to do is a quick press and fold and they're ready to go. As a matter of fact, I just finished a load. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like to press and fold them so that if you decide to go this route, you can just see how easy it is to maintain them. And like I said, I only have to do this every five days, six days if I'm pushing it. So it is another load of laundry, but it's a small load and it's a quick one that just adds a whole lot of class to your meals and very inexpensive. And that's extremely cheap to get 40 towels for that price, 40 napkins, excuse me, for that price. It's unheard of. If you just go shopping on Amazon, just Google it, cloth napkins, and you're going to be hard pressed to get cloth napkins for that price. So. As you can see, I'm moving quickly here. Of course, I sped the video up, but it's a very simple process no special ironing skills just press enough to be able to flatten it out and make it just look nice and fold it up what we like to do is for dinner or breakfast because we use them for both when someone's done with their napkin i have a little basket that i keep in the dining room that i only put table linens and table napkins in after they come out of the wash just a quick press like you're seeing here and then I just fold them nicely so that they'll stack and we're good to go this only took me about seven minutes and afterwards I have a nice little bin that I can see so I can see when we're running low all set I want to encourage you to consider using cloth napkins because they a keep you from having to go to the store to get napkins. B, they're gonna cut down on the amount of trash that you have in your home. If I haven't said it before in any of my other videos, I have become very, very conscious of the amount of trash that we are producing here 
at our home and on our property, mostly because we have to take it to the dump ourselves. So the less trash we're producing, the easier it is on whoever has to take it. So I prefer not to have large amounts of trash that are unnecessary. C, cloth napkins for whatever reason just seem to add a little extra class to every meal. We used to use them just for special occasions, but now that we're using them every day, every meal just has that extra special feel that you have to do it yourself to, to just understand what I'm talking about. And lastly, it's very easy to take the everyday napkins that you use and transform your table into something more festive and fun for a special gathering or occasion. You can fold them, you can make cranes, you can make fans, you can make pockets. You can do all kinds of things with your napkins to dress up the table and really take it up a notch. You could also go a more fancy route. Like I said, you can make mitered corners, you can add lace, you can do all kinds of different designs. You can quilt a napkin if you really want to too. It's all up to you, especially if you know how to sew. If you don't know how to sew, then one way to maybe get someone to teach you how to sew is to ask them to show you how to do a rolled hem on the cloth that you choose to use for your napkin. And worst case scenario, you could also just purchase the napkins, the towel, excuse me, or purchase the cloth that you prefer to have made into napkins. And you can do the prep work as far as the cutting is concerned. And then you could ask a friend to sew it for you. And if you're nice, you'd offer them a little bit of money for their time and their thread um, invested in doing so. If they just want to do it for free and you all want to just hang out together and make the napkins together, that might also be a fun way to spend some time with one of your friends who does know how to sew. And if that all fails, you absolutely can purchase some cloth napkins. I guarantee you that even if you pay more than what I paid for the, the fabric and the cloth to make the napkins, that if you add up over time what you would have spent on paper napkins, you'll find that you actually saved quite a bit of money. I know restaurants have done some research and there's a lot of websites and blogs for restaurant owners encouraging them to use cloth napkins because A, they're gonna add class to the restaurant, but B, they'll cut down on the amount of waste that the restaurant is producing. On average, when a person sits down with a paper napkin, they're gonna use three or four paper napkins. When you give them a cloth napkin, they only use one. It's a really miraculous transformation. And uh, I'm hoping that some of you take this on before you get to the country so that it'll just ease in for you. It'll be part of your normal routine and it'll be one less thing on your list of things that you wanna do. Well, beloved, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And for some of you, this may be your first time watching with us and I want to say welcome to you especially and if you'd like to see more of these videos please go ahead and subscribe and you can click the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new video. We really appreciate all of your support and we also really appreciate all of your comments that you leave. If you have any questions or concerns please leave them in the comments box. I do read them and um, I enjoy answering so until the next video, keep it simple and be blessed. Bye.